Let's see. Conquest from the Northern Kingdoms. Not part of the military force. Defended itself with... The, a makeshift warhammer? What exactly did you use as a hammer? Ah. Not talkative. <laughs> Noted. Well then. Allow me to welcome you to the capital city of the Ophidian Empire. You have the great honor to be resting within our Sultan's palace. Uh, do try not to get any of your fluids anywhere. <laughs> Nothing. N not even a smile. Okay. There's no need to be rude now. You're about to take your first steps into something much greater. You should be happy. Human, I must insist that you remain civil. This will all go much smoother if you cooperate with me. Hmm, defiant. That's typical, I suppose. General Copperhead rarely brings back people if they don't impress him. And don't tell him I said this, but, uh, he's rather narcissistic. Do you have a name, human? They always make it so hard on themselves. Listen. My name is Julius. <laughs> but you won't need to remember that. I doubt we'll meet again. And if we do, it certainly won't be on a first name basis. I am the Sultan's personal servant coordinator. I'll be facilitating your transition into a less... dominant role. <laughs> yes, as bitter as your statement is, I'm the one who breaks slaves. But I take pride in never doing any more than I have to. I don't get any sense of sadistic glee from hurting you. I just want to rehabilitate you so you can join our empire. Oh, please, restrain yourself. I'm a person too. And I don't like being mocked. I understand you're unhappy with your recent developments. But I promise, this life is better. Our Sultan brings peace and prosperity wherever our flag touches. Your life, the lives of the people you had to leave behind, even the lives of any slaves or servants you may have had, will be better now that she is in charge. You don't believe me. <laughs> of course you don't. I didn't expect you to. That's why I have to help you understand. Before we start, I need to get a good look at you. Copperhead sends quite the myriad of people. And it's, uh, it's up to me to figure out who they'd fit best. Now don't struggle. I'm wrapping you up to best observe you. You aren't in any danger. You know, this process would go a lot faster if you went limp. And now, you're as rigid as a board. Thank you for falling for that little bit of subterfuge. <laughs> Judging by the tenseness in your abdomen, and the general strength of your flailing, I'd assume you've physically trained in one way or another. Add that to impromptu weapon engineering, and a viable understanding of blunt force combat. And I'd say you're a warrior. But that leaves one little question, doesn't it? Why would a capable warrior who has no fear of Nagas and a seemingly strong sense of honor not be on the front lines leading soldiers? Is it your gender? I never remember if you humans have like a, a, a matriarchy or a patriarchy, but I know you're very stubborn about your roles. Still not talking? Well, <laughs> I'll figure it out soon enough. Will you open your mouth, or do I have to pry it open? Pry it is! <laughs> I'd ask you to hold still, but uh, my coils should ensure that. 
Uh, your teeth look good. That makes you a noble, I imagine. Are you literate? Or did your studies stop with combat? I'll take that comment as a yes. And I'll mark you down as a terrible poker face. Hmm. Your heartbeat is solid. And you keep your extremities plenty warm. But your talents would be wasted as a heater. A gladiator, maybe? You're not very distinctive, visually speaking. But maybe your fighting style would make you entertaining. Or at least... Ah! I've got it! I'd almost forgotten that we just had an opening that would be perfect for you. You'll be... You ready for this? You're gonna love this. One of the Sultans... No, seriously, you're gonna love this. Human Shields! No? Ah, don't look so dissatisfied. The job is a great honor. And it's not at all like the human expression you're thinking of. It's more like a royal guard of sorts. You wouldn't be fully armored or, or, or carrying weapons. And that's what makes you so special. A Naga guard may be stronger than you, and, and faster than you, and... Well, you get the picture. But your strength lies in your weakness. You're small, nimble, unaffected by the cold, and most importantly, unremarkable. We dress you up as a cupbearer, or maybe a scribe, and no one would suspect that you're a highly trained protector in disguise. You'd be serving your new empire in a way that only a human can. And since the third shield died in a, uh, a recent assassination attempt, we've got an open slot. <laughs> it's perfect. Yeah. Yeah, you do have a point. You aren't willing to help the Sultan. I imagine you'd probably try and lead a coup yourself if you could. <laughs> but your resilience could be so useful if tempered into a more... precise weapon. I only see one course of action. And as much as I detest it, we all must make sacrifices for the Empire. Tell me, human, do you have anything you wish to confess? Maybe a human god to pray to one last time? Why? Well, because I'm gonna have to indoctrinate you quite... forcefully. And judging by your usual temperament, it won't be an easy fight. Lots of who you are may be lost in the process. So if you want to do something in your last moments, do it now. <laughs> Stub until the end. <laughs> you know, human, I think I just figured out your secret. Why you know how to fight, but didn't stand on the front lines. Your eyes. They're heterochromatic. Which, on its own, means nothing, but could be caused by inbreeding being diverted. Add that to your royal background, and I'd say it was because you come from a long royal line that recently had some new stock introduced. You're a bastard child, aren't you? Maybe the same age as an heir, kept around as a friend or guardian, but never allowed to be openly displayed. Thus why you were trained, and kept hidden. And maybe, where all that misdirected rage comes from. Ah. I do hate being right on something as sad as this. But if it's any concession, when we're done here, you won't be able to remember any of that. Cold comfort, I know. But, uh, I hope it's something. I'm going to hold your eyes open in a moment. But before I do that, I want to tell you something about my hypnosis. You can't really fight it, per se. If you resist now, I'll just go again, and again, and again, until you break. But I don't want to break anything. I just need to get into your head 
and convince you that you want to serve Her Majesty. The remolding process can be extreme. Um, depending on how much you struggle, I may have to erase everything in that little head of yours. Not just memories and ideals, but things like speech, critical problem solving, or hand-eye coordination. Needless to say, these would be a pain to reteach you. And if we end up erasing them, you'll probably be reduced to a mindless husk and thrown out in the garbage. So, it's in your best interest to let me in. If you must be belligerent, then you can focus on one or two things, and maybe, just maybe, you'll be able to protect them through the process. But don't be greedy. If you stretch your mind too thin, it will snap. Are you ready? I hope you survive this. Wow. I can already see the mental barriers. You've quite the hidden intellect behind these eyes. I always forget how cold it is inside a human's thoughts. Your bodies are so warm, but your minds... so calculating. Human, I want you to take a deep breath. I've been coiling you rather tightly, but I'm gonna let you go now. You'll find that even without me wrapped around you, you can't move. That's because your mind is no longer attached to your body. This room, the world outside, and even me, we're all gone. You're not here. You are deep in your subconscious. And right now, it is very empty. I want you to focus on something for me, human. Something very important to you. Yourself. Envision everything that embodies you. Imagine how you look, how you act, and how you think. See what lies beneath the shackles of what your society has put on you. This is the real you. A warrior. Determined. Just and good. Can you see them? They are everything you are. Everything you strive to be. They are perfect. You are perfect. You've strayed from their image. You made some mistakes. But don't worry. You can fix them. You can be all that you desire and more. All you have to do is let me help you. I am not your enemy. I have been nothing but kind since you arrived. I want what's best for you. I want you to be perfect. Will you let me help you? Let me make you everything you want to be? Let go. Every lesson you've learned, every heartache you've felt, let go of them. They don't matter. They're all as far away as your body, and this room, and my voice. All that's left is you. The real you. The perfect you. There you go. That was easy, wasn't it? And the reward, so fruitful. All you had to do was listen to me. All you had to do was obey. The real you is a warrior, a fighter. You don't need to look at the big picture. You don't need to wrap your mind around the massive problems. 
You don't need to do any of that to be perfect. All you have to do is obey. Everything you need is right here. You are here. Far away from the problems of the world. Everything here is perfect. You are perfect. And all you have to do to stay here is obey. It's not hard to obey. To obey me. To obey your Sultan. To obey everyone above you. You are a link in the chain. A cog in the machine. You are useful. You are needed. We need you. We need you to be perfect. We need you to obey. You are going to be perfect if you obey your Sultan, if you protect your Sultan, if you serve your Sultan. You will be cherished. You will be needed as long as you obey. When your Sultan is in danger, you are in danger. Because serving your Sultan is what makes you perfect. You want to be perfect. You want to obey. The Sultan's will is your will. Her words are your words. Anything you can do to help the Sultan is what you need to do. To obey, to be perfect. You want to be perfect, don't you? You want to be the you you're envisioning? Then you need to obey. You need to serve. You need to be needed. You need to be useful. As long as you are useful, you are perfect. As long as you serve your Sultan, you are everything you need to be. You don't need to hide in your subconscious to see the perfect you. They're waiting for you. Here. In the glint of a sword. On the surface of clear wine. On the reflection of a sparkling shield. You are them. You can be perfect. As long as you obey your Sultan. As long as you serve. You can let go. Stop imagining the perfect you. You don't need to imagine them anymore. Let go. Fall down. 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 Fall back to the world. Everyone is waiting for you. The perfect you. They need you. We need you. Your Sultan needs you. You're back. And everything I said is true. You can be perfect. We do need you. And I did release my coils. You can stand. You could run. You may even be able to escape. The door is unlocked, and I am unarmed. But before you thrash me and run into the night, I have something to say to you. Your Sultan needs you. <laughs> I see it's worked. Good job. Why don't you walk with me? You need to get ready to serve. <laughs>